ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ನನ್ನ ಹೆಸರು ಚಂದನ ಎಂಜೆ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಎಸ್ ಲೆಕ್ಚರರ್ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪಾಲಿಟೆಕ್ನಿಕ್ ಕಾರವಾರ ಸೊ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಸೆಷನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಫೋರ್ ಪವರ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಾಲೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕಲ್ ಎಸ್ಟಿಮೇಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸೆಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ವಿತ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಕೋಡ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಇ ಇ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಸೊ ದ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕವರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಆರ್ determination of rating of motor i for irrigation a pump set the concept of pump house wiring these are the last two topics of this unit 4 power installations so let's uh, see how to what do you mean by irrigation pump set and uh, how to do the wiring and how to select the motor for uh, irrigation pump set purpose okay. so the pump is a machine which lifts water or liquid when driven from lower head to higher head in order to drive the pump induction motors are used okay so the pump is a machine which we are using to lift the water from your uh, or liquid from your lower head to the higher head uh, when it is driven and uh, to drive the pump we are using induction motors okay pump which lifts the water by action of centrifugal force is known as centrifugal pump okay the centrifugal pump is having highest efficiency out of all pumps so hence the centrifugal pump is having highest efficiency we are using the centrifugal pump for our irrigation pump sets okay either monoblock so that is monoblock means the motor shaft itself is acting as a pump or submersible pumps are used okay so a complete pumping system for irrigation consists of the following components what are the components or major equipments which are present in the irrigation pump sets are first one centrifugal pump so it may be coupled or it may be monoblock pump set okay so next we have prime mower so uh, that is motor it may be electric motor or it may be diesel engine to run the pump we require prime mover right so that prime mover either it may be electric motor that is induction motor or diesel engines we are using next we have piping system so that is a uh, suction uh, pipe and delivery pipes we are using suction pipe uh, suck the water from the lower level and delivery pipe means after the pump to deliver to the particular location that is suction and delivery pipes are used next foot walls and reflect walls are used to control the flow of waters and pipe fittings like bends and other accessories are used these are the major equipments which are using in the irrigation pump sets or irrigation uh, system each of the above component has to be properly selected to match the field requirement we have to select the each component properly to match our requirement next how to select the uh, centrifugal pump so that is selection of centrifugal pump okay the brake horsepower or hp required for a pump can be calculated by a formula bhp is equal to q into h divided by 75 into e so where q is equal to discharge of water in liters per second so one the second ali yes to water discharge agathe nadu q so next h is equal to head in meters including friction losses means height what is the height difference you have to pump the water so that is head so that is height difference in meters next e is equal to efficiency of pump as percentage okay so by using this formula you have to calculate the bhp or simple you can call hp of motor which is equal to q into h divided by 75 into e so note for belt driven pumps the bhp may be may be increased by 10% if there is any belt driven pumps are there then you have to consider the bhp rating 10% above the calculated value so the pump pump should be selected so as to have a maximum efficiency at the operating head likely to be obtained during the peak demand period okay so uh, the pump is having the efficiency uh, when the uh, when it is operating at a peak demand hours or peak demand period only so we have to select such that should have a maximum efficiency at operating head likely to be obtained during the peak demand period for site conditions of head and discharge 
at a uh, uh, discharge the centrifugal pump should have minimum efficiency of 43 percent as per the efficiency curves provided by bis standards okay so here it means you have to select a pump such that should have a minimum eff efficiency of 43 percent when you are using it in a site okay so on practical considerations the vertical distance between the deepest water level at which the pump would be required to operate so when you're considering in the head so you have to consider one thing so you you, you have to consider the deepest level of water point where the pump has to pump the water is to be considered so the pump should have bis certification so that is bureau of indian standards certification for the energy efficiency so this is the diagram of pump you can see so this is the coupled pump so this is the induction motor it is coupled to the pump so this is pump section and uh, you, you can see here also this is the induction motor uh, coupled with the pump and this is the suction head you can you can call so this foot value here you can see the suction head and this is the you can call as delivery head okay so and this is the bench which we are used so where the all the and wherever you use the bends see these are the bends so there will be friction losses and these are the values you can call so this is, you can see here these are the values and these are the bends which you are using okay so here the water is sucked uh, through the pump and it is delivered to the head okay uh, that is to the delivery side delivery head so this is the concept of pump centrifugal pumps the concept of pump house wiring so then the pump is selected once the pump is selected then how to place it how to connect the power supply to it so that is called as concept of pump house wiring usually uh, the pump set in case of monoblock are installed in the shed where this type of pumps where this type of pumps have are installed in a shed okay so we'll come we have to construct a shed by using bricks and all so then we have to insert uh, uh, install that pump set in the shed or if it is a submersible then we will install it directly to the well okay so then the supply from the pole is taken to the meter board through aerial cutouts okay as we have studied in the service mains uh, we have we have to take the supply from the pole to the shed what we have constructed so and then the supply is fed to the motor through meter board cutouts and in the panel board with triple pole switch starters and power capacitor are installed okay the supply from the pole is taken to the meter board through uh, service mains and in the meter board we, we will place the cutouts so that is fuse unit and all and next in the starter board of a pump we use triple pole switch of uh, uh, specific uh, rating and uh, starters we have used, we will use and uh, power capacitor we are going to use the capacitor uh, rating depends on the motor hp rating and starter is also depends which type of starter whether it may be dual starter or star delta starter depends on the motor hp rating as you know up to 3 hp dual starters are used and above 5 hp to 12 hp star delta semi automatic are used and above 12 hp star delta fully automatic starters are used and uh, ic trip uh, that is iron clad triple pole switch rating is also depends on the hp rating of the pump set okay panel board must have three pilot neon lamps for three phase through 15 ampere fuse units okay so here uh, we have to install a fuse unit in the panel board so that is a, a panel board of our uh, in the pump house and we, we should provide three pilot lamps for indication of r y b phases okay neutral link should be placed uh, for neutral wire distribution so that is neutral link has to be used for neutral wire distribution for all our uh, lighting uh, installation purpose usually pvc insulated conductor of required size is taken from starter to motor through flexible pvc pipe as we have discussed in the previous problems and uh, uh, in the layout diagram and all uh, from the starter board of uh, uh, machine to the machine terminus we use flexible pvc uh, conducts we are using and uh, with a proper size of the cable is selected for the connection purpose okay the motor must have double earthing and all metallic covers of starter switch capacitors are also connected to earth electrode through separate earth leads of a twg gi wire 
means we have discussed so uh, the here earthing wire should not be looped every machine separately run a atwg ga wire and it is connected to the earth electrodes okay uh, uh, through uh, uh, like all the metallic parts like uh, uh, metallic parts of a panel board and metallic uh, motor body and uh, capacitors and uh, switch boards every uh, starter board switch everything uh, body has to be connected to the earth uh, by using a testability gi wire for lighting an angle holder in the shed and one bulk fitting outside the shed may be provided so you know uh, pump set may be uh, operated in the night time so people used to operate in the night time also so we have to provide the lighting uh, uh, installation also so uh, for the illumination purpose we use angle holder in the shed and one bulk fitting used in the outside the shed can be provided okay so these are the some standard rules we are following while doing the uh, power installations so we see this is the pump house diagram so you can see this this is the industrial pump set which is used for uh, firefighting equipment you can see this uh, starter board or panel board of the uh, pump set this this is a big uh, size pump set which we are using for industries firefighting equipment so you can see this all the terminals taken uh, from your uh, uh, panel board of the or the starter board of this uh, pump uh, machine to the machine terminals and this is installed in a bed so you can see this uh, it is installed in a bed uh, it is not in the floor level it is above the floor level and this diagram represents simple uh, pump set wiring diagram uh, which we are installed in the irrigation uh, pump set the uh, small wiring so this is this you can call a single phase preventer and this is ictp uh, we have used in the small pump set house small with small capacity so this is the single line diagram of a pump set which is connected to the mains okay here you can see this this is the wire uh, which we are having so we have uh, we have seen this uh, problem also so from the supply it goes to the main board main switch board in the main switch board you are having one ictp and uh, fuse unit from there it goes to the starter board of the machine so here we have taken three wire plus earth wire and in the starter board again we have ictp and uh, fuse and starter so here the motor rating is above 5 hp so we are using star delta starter and from the starter we, we will take six wires plus earth wire to connection to the motor terminals so this motor is mounted or this pump is mo mounted on a uh, foundation okay so this is a simple single line diagram of pump set so next we'll take up some examples on uh, calculation of rating of uh, pump set for our irrigation purpose okay let's take a first example Calculate the HP of induction motor required for centrifugal pump to have a monometric head of 30 meter having discharge of 50 liters per second. Here the discharge is 50 liters per second and head we are having is 30 meter. So then we have to calculate the BHP rating of induction motor required for this centrifugal pump next let's see the solution how to do this given data head is given so that is h which is equal to 30 meter then the discharge is given so that is q which is equal to 50 liter per second okay so then we know the formula so that is bhp is equal to q into h divided by 75 into e so q is given h is given but e is not given then we have to assume assume overall efficiency of pump uh, making induction motor e is equal to so that is overall efficiency is equal to e efficiency of pump into efficiency of motor okay so the, we have to take the efficiency of pump into consideration also and we have to consider uh, take the efficiency of motor uh, into consideration okay so then overall efficiency is equal to so we are assuming 80 percent efficiency in both the cases uh, pump is having 80 percent efficiency as well as motor is also having 80 percent efficiency then the efficiency of pump is 80 percent efficiency of motor is 80 percent then overall efficiency e is equal to 0.8 into 0.8 so that is it becomes 0 0.64 so then substitute this value to this formula then bhp is equal to q is how much 50 so that is 50 we have substituted h is how much 30 30 we have substituted divided by 75 into 
overall efficiency is equal is, is how much 0 0.64 that is 75 into 0 0.64 so that is you required 31.25 hp so therefore so by looking into the market availability near to this value we have to select okay therefore say 40 hp induction motor is required for the uh, for the head operation head is 30 meter and discharge capacity of 50 liter per second okay so this is how to do the calculation of hp rating of induction motor for a centrifugal pumps let's take up next one more example so calculation of hp calculate the hp of induction motor required for centrifugal pump to have a monometric head of 30 meter having discharge of 30 liter per second same as we have discussed in the last problem so here head is given 30 meter and discharge is 30 liter per second okay so next uh, that is head h is equal to 30 meter and discharge q is equal to 30 liter per second so then you we know the formula bhp is equal to q into h divided by 75 into e so then assuming overall efficiency of pump making induction motor so e is equal to e pump into e motor that is efficiency of pump into efficiency of motor so approximately e is equal to we are assuming 80 percent efficiency of pump and 80 percent efficiency of motor so that is 0.8 into 0.8 then the overall efficiency is equal to 0.8 into 0.8 which is equal to 0.64 okay therefore bhp is equal to substitute these values to this formula so that is head is 30 q is also 30 30 into 30 divided by 75 into 0.64 so that is 18.75 hp then you have to look for the market availability therefore near to this 18.75 hp the market availability rating is 20 hp therefore say 20 hp induction motor is required for the particular uh, centrifugal pump to have a head of 30 meter and discharge capacity of 30 liter per second okay so this is how to calculate uh, the bhp rating of induction motor to run uh, uh, to run a pump uh, of a different head and a different discharge capacities is given and here we are assuming the efficiency of pump is 80 percent and the efficiency of motor is also 80 percent so we are calculating the overall efficiency okay so this is about how to select the uh, pump what do you mean by pump and uh, what do you mean by centrifugal pump and how to select the irrigation uh, uh, pump sets and uh, how to do the wiring for the irrigation pump sets okay so next let us take up some uh, mcqs on this uh, topic so first question is for irrigation pump set which is of following pumps can be used so a monoblock b submersible pumps c both a and b d none of the above means for irrigation irrigation purpose which of the following pump sets can be used can we use only monoblock pumps or can we use only submersible pumps or both a and b monoblock as well as submersible pumps or none of the above then what is the answer answer is c both a and b as we have discussed we can use monoblock pump sets also as well as submersible pump sets also for our irrigation purpose okay so next second question the brake cars power that is bhp required for a pump can be calculated by formula so bhp is equal to q into h divided by 75 e so a b bhp is equal to q into h divided by 750 into e c bhp is equal to h divided by 75 into e d none of the above so as we have seen the uh, formula what is the answer for this the answer for this question is the bhp of a pump set can be written by a formula so that is bhp is equal to q into h divided by 75 into e that is answer is a bhp is equal to q into h divided by 75 into e okay so here q means discharge in liter per second h means head in meters and e is overall efficiency of both pump set okay overall efficiency means 
that is uh, efficiency of pump as well as into efficiency of motor okay so that is overall efficiency of bo both motor as well as pump okay so uh, that is given by the formula a okay so the answer is a so next we have uh, one more uh, uh, question calculate the hp of induction motor required for centrifugal pump to have a monometric head of 60 meter and having discharge of 50 liter per second so we have to calculate the bhp rating of a induction motor so the head of the uh, uh, head of the given uh, uh, requirement is 60 meter and uh, the discharge is 50 liter per second so then so given options are a 31.25 hp b 62.5 hp c 11.25 hp d none of the above then how do you do this so you know uh, bhp is equal to you know the formula uh, which is bhp is equal to q into h divided by 75 into e so q you know the discharge so that is 50 liter per second given and h is 60 meter is given that is 50 into 60 divided by 75 into efficiency overall efficiency that is overall efficiency e is equal to efficiency of motor into efficiency of pump so we are assuming 80 percent efficiency of motor and 80 percent efficiency of pump so that is 0.8 into 0.8 it becomes 0 0.64 so that is so you can write bhp is equal to 60 into 50 divided by 75 into 0 0.64 calculate it how much you will get so you will get the value 62.5 hp so the answer is b 62.5 hp so then we will go for the next problem or next question so calculate the hp of induction motor required for centrifugal pump to have a monometric head of 30 meter and having the discharge of 30 liter per second okay here the discharge is 30 liter per second that is q which is equal to 30 liter per second and head h is equal to 30 meter then calculate bhp so our options given are 32.25 hp b 21.25 hp c 18.75 hp d none of the above so then you know the formula for calculation bhp is equal to q into h divided by 75 into e so that is e is equal to e uh, efficiency of pump into efficiency of motor so that is we are assuming 80 percent efficiency of pump and 80 percent efficiency of motor 0.8 into 0.8 it becomes 0.64 so here q is 30 and head is 30 so that is substitute that value 30 into 30 divided by 75 into 0.64 then calculate it how much you will get so you will get the value 18.75 hp so the answer is 18.75 hp so this is how to calculate uh, the bhp rating and these are some mcqs on this uh, session hope you understood this session and these are the some references book uh, books which we are referring for this uh, subject and uh, for this unit thank you everyone